Namaste beautiful yogis. Welcome to Ali Kamanova Yoga. I'm Ali and today we're doing another coffee cup vinyasa with some mindfulness meditation at the end. So remember to flow with strength. Begin at the front of the mat, roll the shoulders back and down, drawing the belly in, coming to your basic awareness of the body, pausing and pulling the senses from the outside into how it feels to occupy your own body, into how the insights, the sensation of the body is, how does it feel to occupy this space. Deepening the breath. And using the breath as a vehicle to get you to feel your body even more, to access different parts of the belly, of the insights. Feel your lungs. We never stop and just feel the lungs unless they feel bad, then we feel them. But if they feel good, we just kind of chug along. So feel the lungs. Be grateful for them as they do protect you and are a big part of your immunity. Let's bring the hands over the kidneys. Grateful for the kidneys, smile at your kidneys. Just above the waist, on the back. And you can bring your hands over the liver on the right side, around and under the rib cage. And just smile at your liver. Smiling in the gallbladder, pancreas, the intestines, you can bring your hands over the main portion of the belly. And let's give ourselves a hug. So holding yourself in a tight embrace. And as you exhale, dissolve the stress or the tension or the worry or the residual Yucky energy, residual thoughts, anything you're carrying in your body from the morning, from the day, from whatever happened before the class. You can swap hands, change sides, and just give yourself a good tight embrace, holding the shoulders. Also a good back stretch. Great. And starting to move. You can reach side to side and instead of the usual one, you can just really explore your space. And hands over the heart. Shifting the weight onto the right leg. We're going to go first with uh, 10 poses of the left leg out. You can, it's not exactly directly out, just slightly backwards, but mostly out. So you're really feeling the hip here. So that's about the alignment. Just, just a tiny bit backwards, but mostly out. One, two, three, four five, 
six, seven, eight, nine, ten, and from here it's going to be uh, about 45 to 60 degrees back. So further back, one diagonally, two, three, really squeeze, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. 10 and now straight back and this really really engages your the ball of the hamstring kind of like the ball of the biceps the ball of the hamstring one two three four five six seven eight nine ten hands over the heart and straight into warrior three left hand on the floor right arm up and Take it up. And warrior three. Here we're gonna go for 10 knee bends. One, two, three. Keep your hips level. Four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Step it back in high lunge lower down and kick up one two three four five six seven eight nine ten deadlift to jump one it's starting to burn two three, four, five, six, seven, eight, ooh, nine, and ten, and step it down, moving over to the other side, ten sideways, just a touch backward, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, forty-five to sixty degrees back, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, backwards directly, one, two, three, squeeze the booty, two, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, hands over the heart, Warrior three, revolving. Half moon and ten knee bends. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. Then step it back. Here we're gonna go for lunge, kick, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Deadlift to jump one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, shake it out, shift onto the right leg, ten circles with the left leg, one, two, three, four, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Here we're going to move the leg forward and backward with control so you're not flinging the knee, flinging the bottom of the foot and the knee is kind of <clears throat> hyperextending. Be very controlled and flex the, flex the quadriceps. One, two, and when you push back, really flex. Three, four, five, six, 
five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, warrior three. Half moon, a revolving half moon, sorry. Warrior three. And here we're gonna go lunge combination, staggered lunge, lunge, staggered lunge, lunge, dip it down. Three, three, four, four, five, five, six. Six really focus on keeping the hips square. Seven seven and finding depth nine nine Ooh. ten ten this was surprisingly challenging shake it out step onto the left and <clears throat> let's go circles one two really flex three four Five, six, seven, eight, nine, and ten, and back and forth. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, and ten. Warrior three, level the hips, revolving half moon. To warrior three. that effective double lunge combo so staggered push the hips back find some depth here one and then again dip it down keep the knee back extend the tailbone down one two really it's all about the alignment two three three four four Five, five, six, six, seven, seven, eight, eight, nine, nine, and ten, ten. Ooh, shake it out. Step onto the right foot and lean forward here. So we're gonna draw circles, slightly opening the left hip. So we're not squaring the hips here, slight opening. Keep the standing knee bent and we're gonna draw circles with the toes. Also exercising the back muscles here. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, Eight, nine, ten. Tell me your inner ballerina didn't feel a burn. <laughs> inner thigh work here. So one, one pulse. One, one pulse. So just count one, but you know to pulse. Three, four, five, pulse. Six, seven, eight nine ten warrior three revolving half moon it should get a little deeper by now 
warrior thing. High lunge. Coming onto the tippy toes. And stretch back. Lower down the heel. Twist. High lunge and come off with the front foot. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, ooh, nine, ten. Pushing through the heel really fires up everything. And ten steps forward. Keep that knee bent. One, two, three. Four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, Ooh, ten. That can easily go in a booty or in a leg program, actually. We'll do really well in a leg program. All right. Here I'll torture you just a little bit. Just <laughs> one. Move with me, two, three, jump lunges, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Step it at the front, you deserve the other leg now. <laughs> You've worked your way to the other leg. Leaning forward, slightly opening the hip, bend the standing knee. Let's go circles, one, two, Three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. This is challenging. The balance plus the muscles. Double pulses. And we're using, we're not lifting here because that's mostly hip flexor. Inner thigh. One, two pulse, three, Four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, and warrior three. Half moon. Warrior three. High lunge. Take your toe, uh, re foot on the toes, heel up. Look up. Drop it down. Twist. Come up. And pushing through the entire foot, but really focus on the heel because the heel will really, the heel will really fire up the body. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, and now stepping in the back leg. One, two. Three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. And we cannot forget the icing or the cherry on top. Ten lunge jumps. One, two, three, four, five, six. Seven, eight, nine, ten. Step it at the front. Shake it out. Hands over the heart. 
nice deep inhalations clasping the hands behind shift your weight onto the right leg and step the left leg back let's walk the hands towards the left hip look over the right shoulder open the arms out drop it back lift it up bring the left hand down roll onto the other edges of the feet sit back look forward and you can open here a little bit of the knee out and step it at the front yogic squat just a very important pose a lot of them are very important and it's mostly the simple ones that are so important they start to make a lot of sense over time as our practice evolves progresses and it becomes richer not the first years of practice but when you get deep into the practice not the physical part of the practice at first i feel it's a lot of physicality and now actually even with the new instagram yogis they do so only handstands and so it's a lot of just more the showy poses and at first it's a lot of the strong vinyasas and such but then after a while there is a whole other level layer that's so important to the mind and body as we become old friends with the practice <sighs> as we understand the nuances of movement of simplicity of nothingness the nuances of nothingness and standing up with a strong body exhale the hands behind you clasp look up shift onto the left leg step it back high lunge walk your hands to the right and look over the left shoulder and really explore the hands are pushing down away from the shoulders and back and to the right softening the chest and open the arms out bring the right arm up left hand down exhale the right hand down roll onto the outer edges of the feet feel that hip action come onto the tippy toes on the left leg and open here you can you can be very aesthetic And the good old yogic squat. Time for all fours. Coming into all fours, let's lift the knees off the floor. And we're going to march one knee at a time towards forearm or elbow or even higher if you can lift and keep the knees off one two three four five six seven eight nine ten kick across kick across one two three four five six seven eight nine and ten hold the knees great so moving into back bends let's keep the left knee and left hand down here kind of in between side plank and back bend 
take the right ankle with the right hand open here soften release drop it down take the same right leg up this time with the left hand and open and I'm just shifting sides but you stay where you are we're gonna go over to the opposite side and shifting hands same left leg, open the shoulder, release, sit between the heels, lower down, maybe lay down, keep your knees down. Coming up. To pigeon on the right side, you can twist to your right and lower down. and coming up opposite side twist towards the knee to your left lower down for elevated bicycles starting with feet on the floor one comes off opposite elbow to knee one two three four five squeeze six seven eight nine ten and now we'll elevate them both one two three four five six seven eight nine ten let's do something very useful and practical side crunches one two three four five six seven eight nine ten because i'm all about practical <laughs> indeed one two Three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. As a matter of fact, I'm surprised I didn't call my yoga practical yoga because I have every practical sign strong in my chart. Balanced out with the most impractical of the impractical ones. <laughs> the spiritual one, Pisces. All right, so on that note 
we're gonna come into a seated do a little twist to get ourselves into the mood in the mood around the back look up around the back arch round and arch and we're going to sit here you can turn the palms of the hands up you can touch your index to your thumb the tips and you can see here smiling we're going to the dive in into a meditation called changes um, change and transition transformation is probably one of the most pivotal points in life the most powerful times in life and usually the most challenging testing times and no matter who you are you're gonna go through changes some people go through more changes and more um, transformative and some people go through less visible changes maybe less dramatic but we all have to go through the transitions in life puberty <sighs> that is a whole butterfly transformation before we are even very very conscious and then there is birth and partnerships and defining the ego defining the selves the roles we will play in life the personas will attach ourselves to to other transformations later on in life that are more dissolving more um, transformations that are more destructive so that the shell can break and we can really come into our true selves through losing what we strongly felt we are so whichever stage you are in your transformation a lot of transformations also happen through the 20s with the Saturn return and the loss of beliefs or the testing of belief system so whichever transformation you're facing we're about to face that's what we're gonna contemplate so you can close the eyes gently deepening the breath or softening the breath whatever you want to call it feel the breath and feel it steady as you're anchoring as your support as your reminder that you're here and that everything is good and that we're on a journey in order to grow not to grasp in order to transform not to hold on and even the things we hold on to the more we hold on the bigger the struggle the less we're willing to transform the more the pain so life is a dance of learning to enjoy and release to love and let go of not only the things around us but the things within us the things we identify with and to always come back to the truth that is woven into the fabric of reality and that is truth and love and wisdom real truth and profound wisdom and true love and as long as we continue to anchor ourselves in those everything else will flow through us transforming us and moving on so see yourself in the sea of change maybe like a name for some sea creature it doesn't have to have a sex it can be a female male or something androgynous something in the sea that's sitting underwater and the waters and the currents are flowing changing and changing through you within you around you and you're just sitting observing the changes observing the winds of the water and surrendering allowing 
And that is the vision for the meditation today. Just sit on the bottom of your ocean, which is your emotion, allowing everything to flow, seeing the change. You know you cannot change, stop it, you allow it to continue flowing, observing it, sitting aware and conscious and <sighs> an understanding of it and just allowing it to flow and flow and flow because you know that on the other side of that change you're gonna emerge to be the next version of yourself and you have gifts to give to those around you to humanity to consciousness with each new version of yourself so no need to hold on to anything as nothing is eternal other than love but none of your personas will ever be eternal so allowing everything to serve its purpose and dissolve as you move through the changes of existence of life Smiling as the water keeps flowing, pass by you. Seeing the changes all around you that eventually will become the changes within you. And at the same time seeing changes arising from within that can change your immediate reality, immediate environment, Im immediate surroundings. Relaxing in the fluid, dynamic nature of your environment. Relaxing with the changes because they're inevitable. And we see the beauty of surrender, the beauty of dissolving and losing parts of the shell. Because in the rawness of the new, beauty emerges, internal beauty. slowly begin to deepen the breath lifting through the crown of the head and dropping into the mat through the sit bones feeling the back and the chest the belly the face smile let's inhale the hands over the head bring them over the third eye Blink the eyes open and bring the hands over the heart. Sealing the benefits of the practice today. And let's bow to our hearts for their forgiveness, compassion, and love. Namaste. I'll see you with our next class. And remember to follow strength and ease.